I'm getting a phone call just as I'm going live. Uh oh, it's from an unknown. Just as that might be my doctor. Hello? Yes? blood work without me getting better. Um, now what about um, you're not going to do an, an ultrasound every six months or oh okay awesome are you going to go ahead and contact Dr. Shulman the, yeah Scott Shulman from North Bay are you going to bother contacting him and get, get that stuff or are you not going to bother I never see you again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'm back. All right. So the reason why I didn't stream at one o'clock Eastern is because I had a three o'clock virtual appointment. So with a specialist, it was a consult. And anyway, I had to be ready to uh, half an hour before that to test my connection and all that stuff and as it turned out they they could talk to me earlier so i was able to get in and out but she wanted to do a follow-up phone call right there now we were supposed to do the uh, vincent moore from vincent's story as you can see i have to redo the house um I still have the double call garage because this is an older save. So I did a bunch of work on the house in between those two saves. So as you can see, these bathrooms are still fine. So this used to be one giant bathroom. So those are still divided. And I'm not sure what's going on over here. I never did it, did anything in this part of the, of the lot. I think I might actually do like a playground over here or I might go into lot adjuster and give them the extra space over here for a huge play i mean they have four kids and he's like the richest person in my uberhood he owns like a well if you ever played vincent Stur, you know what i'm talking about he was a multi-millionaire and super rich but he was a having a hard time finding true love so just it's like i'm eating boiled potatoes here <laughs> mm. there's nothing like boiled potatoes with a little butter a little salt all right so I'm only going to be on for a couple hours, and it's mostly just going to be renovating. Now, as you can see, Dave the Rabbit's not here. I'm going to have to replace Dave the Rabbit. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get rid of all this shit. This is supposed to be like a, a pool house. Kind of, what, the, what is going on with this couch? It says that the object is in use. I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. We don't need a nut. Oops. Did not need to do that. So I remember we turned this into sort of like like a pet area with Dave. The, we had Dave the rabbit. We had some pet beds here. I'm being summoned on my phone. Oh, it's Demeritis, my mod. Can't join me today. There we go. 
All right, I just heard something. Oh, thank you, Heritage. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so I'm just basically, I'm not gonna actually play the family. I'm just going to put the family home back to what it was before my game freaked out. I had to go back to an older save. As you can see, I had to redo this area. But we still have a basement. It's just not decorated, as you can see. <laughs> So I actually had, I don't know how long you've been here, but I had like a, a virtual appointment with a new doctor at three. So that's why I didn't do this stream today. Monday we'll, we'll do the playthrough. We'll see how far we can get with this. Um, we're gonna have to move this piano back. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably go back a little further. Cause I remember we had like a long dining table here and it was very posh in this area. And I also got rid of this door, but we pretty much kept the pool as is. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to quit the game and we are going to um, give them extra space over here so they can have a proper playground. I mean, these guys are rich, right? So maybe we could have like a little garden area over there. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna quit. Quit. Waiting on a call from my doctor as well. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? And you get, like, I get super anxious because it was a new doctor. It was a specialist. Because I just moved to uh, Ottawa. So I need to, like, line up all my ducks in a row and get new specialists and stuff like that. This one was my liver doctor. But then she just, just as I hit the live button, uh, her assistant called and said there was a change of plans and that my family doctor can, can just keep an eye on me instead because uh, cause my ch my status hasn't changed very much. So the only reason I have liver issues is because they gave me a shit ton of chemo as a child. That's the only reason. And she said, as long as you don't have to go back on that drug, there's really no reason for us to see you. Like we're, we're more interested in people with active liver issues that are getting progressively worse, which makes sense. I'm like, oh, well, that's fine. It'll save me a trip to the hospital because I hate going to that hospital. It's so fucking, the parking garage is so ancient. Um, um, anyway, and it's expensive, you know, parking downtown in a major city is really expensive. So anyway, she, so basically she just called and said, yeah, your family doctor could just keep an eye on you and do a liver ultrasounds every six months and all that other stuff. And if there's any change, you can come back. So I actually like that news. I hate seeing doctors unless it's absolutely necessary. Anyway, I hope you get good news on a Friday. Not good news, just even if it's just neutral. Because that was kind of like neutral. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't good news in the like, oh, you're cured of your cirrhosis. <laughs> that kind of good news. Okay. Sorry, I'm drinking tea and I'm eating boiled potatoes with butter. It's my favorite snack. All right, what am I doing? I'm going to Lodge Jester. Where's Lodge Jester? It's in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to Bitville. Bitville. We're gonna go to JCN Circle, that's his, That's the name of his company that he owns. JCN, I guess. I forget what it stood for. Uh, all right, that's just lot. Uh, add, remove roads. All right, so we're gonna add to the right side? Yeah. Let me just double check. Let's go back in. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, long story short, I'm not only gonna be off for a couple hours. I'm probably gonna get off right around the time that um, T Attic gets on. Because I know a lot of my followers like to watch her because she is very sweet. She's a good streamer. Probably my favorite. And Noodle Belly's my second favorite. <laughs> I like people who 
are chill, you know, when they're playing. <laughs> Well, I moved to Ottawa, the capital of Canada. I was in North Bay, which is like four hours north of Toronto. It's like my parents were born and raised there. And when my mom retired, she wanted to move back to North Bay to be close to her sister. And they ended up having a big falling out anyway. So they didn't speak to each other after the last 15 years of their lives. Anyway, uh, that's called irony. <laughs> Anywho, my brother and I went with her. Well, I went with her because I, I've always lived with a family member, except for a brief time in Hamilton. Um, anyway, uh, so we went up there because we had fond memories of living in North Bay and uh, during the summers, we would spend all our summers there until we moved to California, of course. And um, so yeah, we've been living there, but here's the thing. We were living in a townhouse with lots of stairs and uh, three stories. And it was like, the stairs were killing me. There was only one bathroom on the second floor and it was just killing me, but we couldn't find an apartment because there's like a severe housing shortage in Canada. Like they're letting in too many immigrants. They let in like almost a million immigrants a year. And there's like a housing shortage already. And and the only buildings that, and of course with uh, COVID, all the companies stopped, you know, building new stuff. They would fit, they finished their old stuff, but they didn't build new stuff. The problem with, okay, so the government of Canada used to build affordable housing for people, like way back in the day, like 60s and 70s. And then they stopped and they decided, we're going to let the free market decide on that. We're going to let them build the housing. The problem with the free market is that they won't, they won't build low market housing because it gets trashed and they don't make very much money off of it. It get, like it immediately gets trashed. According to them, that's the, those are their words. It gets trashed and uh they they don't make as much money so any new buildings that go up are like condos that cost three four hundred thousand or more and so affordable housing hasn't been built in since the 70s and now the federal government is like in serious trouble because they're still letting in immigrants all the time like where are they supposed to go like canadians who have been here for hundreds of years <laughs> so anyway i had no choice but to move to ottawa i do have an aunt that lives on that like out like in the country um, it's technically still part of Ottawa, but it used to be its own little town. Um, so Ottawa used to be a lot smaller, but the federal government forced a lot of cities to amalgamate. So Toronto had to amalgamate with like five other cities about 10, 15 years ago. And they weren't happy about it. And then Ottawa was forced to do it. So technically she's in Ottawa, but it's like a 45 minute drive out in the country. So and she has a son and and uh, granddaughters, and we occasionally see each other at family functions. So I do have family down here. I'm not super close with them, but anyway, let's get into this. We got to go to Bitville. So yeah, I was able to we were able to get an apartment, no problem, in Ottawa. I miss North Bay a lot. It's very, it was very, it was kind of like the Santa Cruz of Northern Ontario. It's very laid back. Uh, every, the, everything is sort of beach centric, just like it is in Santa Cruz. Everything's about the beach and, and the water. And, uh, uh oh, wait a second. I'm getting another call from my doctor. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, just the one time. Okay. Okay. So no repeats, just the one time. Okay, and she she'll be given the code that she needs so I don't have to pay thirteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's had to write for hematology insurance on the Oh, okay. Yeah, because she's new to Ontario. She practiced in Saskatchewan for like sixteen years and she's new to all the rules and they're confusing her, so <laughs> Yeah, I think it's pretty dumb. But uh, yeah, it's all just gonna hurt, so she can order it to take it, which I'll do too. Oh, okay. That's awesome. 
Okay. That's okay. That's like. Okay. Bye. Okay, another follow-up call. <laughs> She's like super apologetic. All right, before we go back in there, let's just move these trees. Also, these are very jaggy edges. Let's do something about that. Let's just bring, let's just soften these a little bit. So I'm gonna bring these down. You see these sharp edges? It's kind of hard to tell. There's one, there's one here for sure. So you have to use the modify um, neighborhood terrain sheet. I, I have it on all the time. Like it's in my starter use up file, so it's just always on. Just gonna make it a little softer. They do have like quite the steep drop off here behind their house. That's kind of scary. If I had kids, I'd be freaking out. Definitely have very high walls. <laughs> Bring that down a little more. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks a little better. Anywho, just want to make sure there's no trees in this side of the property, and I don't think there is. This is where the... Um, Oh, wait, I should probably flatten that. Can I flatten that? I don't think I can. I can flatten that in inside, though, pretty sure. Let's go back in, make some changes. I hope it works out good for me, too. I hope it works out good for you, as well. You always have to keep your... Even, the, even after you get burned so many times, you kind of still have to have hope. <coughs> oh my god, I just sneezed. <laughs> At least I had my thumb on the mute button. <laughs> I don't sneeze a lot, but when I do, it sounds like a cough. <laughs> uh, but then when I try to suppress the sneeze, my, my ears pop. So apparently you're not, try you're not supposed to suppress your sneeze. Like, some people really suppress it, and what happens is you can break a bone inside your ear. You can literally break what? oh. So, yeah, it looks like, oh, I still have a sharp edge outside the lot. That's fine, that's fine. But the sharp edges are, like, a little tamer here. But that's quite the drop-off. Of course, my graphic settings are down quite a bit to avoid pink soup. So, anyway, let's go over here. Okay, we just have to do a road replacement here. So I just have to get, first of all, let's put this on. Oop, let's put the daylight mode on. So anyway, suffice it to say, I'm not going to be on for very long, but, you know, whatever. Oh, it's not that one. Ooh, I think it's that one. Boop, there you go. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. We need to actually do like a taller fence because th these are rich people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they like their privacy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we're going to do these guys Monday. Them and their, their four kids. All right. Hold on. Hold on. What is going on here? Oh, that is way too low. What is happening? Okay, we're going to have to, what? Okay, I guess we're going to keep that high. We're going to keep this fence high. I don't think we can go all the way to the edge. Like, I don't think we can go all the way to the edge here. I'm not sure. It would be nice if we could, though. You know, technically speaking, I could bring this lot out a little more. I could make, I could give them a huge backyard if I wanted to. I've got the space. I think I'm going to leave well enough alone here and not do anything. Um, 
Yeah, so this area is just going to stay blank for the time being, unless unless one of them wants to garden. I don't know if we have nature sims on this in this family. You think they would with six people? Anyway, we're going to keep this this ugly wooden rail for the time being, and over here we're going to try to make make it as flat as possible with the road. Hi, Gabby. Your new doctor seems really good. Well, that's good. There are multiple plots to can determine primary sec. Oh, there's there's multiple ways to determine primary secondary aspirations. Yeah, so Lord Crumps has a new system that you can download from his website. Thanks for the lurk, Labia Cannoli. Hi, Silly Soraya. Ooh, you're setting up the story set as well. Good luck. <laughs> oh my god so my main hood is garden heights and then of course mesa flats is my downtown and there, this is bitville so i'm working i'm actually doing uh some decoration and renovation for the moore family so he ended up marrying uh what's her name um naomi <laughs> so they have four kids anywho uh let's go back to this we're gonna actually toggle this on today's is going to be a short a very short stream because i did have like a virtual medical appointment over over zoom uh at three o'clock so i'm going to get off just in time so you guys can watch um tea addict so she'll be on in about an hour and a half so i'm just going to fuck around in this stream oh you don't care about pets oh no 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 no, no my friend you have to you have to do garden nights and also, okay, so three of the hoods that the hood, um, are you doing the hood building group hoods? Are you using those hoods? Or are you, are you making your own? Because there's actually three, uh, pet hoods. There's, um, Garden Heights Midnight Masquerade, uh, which is like on a, a like, um, a, a desert landscape. So that's my downtown. And then there's the free play hood that came with, uh, uh, pet stories, which is Arbor Falls. I also have Four Corners, which is Rachel's story, and this is Bitville, which is Vincent's story. Anyway, I'm going to flatten this. See how far back I can go. Because actually, you know what? We don't have to do... I think I'm going to do this. Anyway, I think what we're going to do steps coming down here for the playground. I don't know if the playground is going to be boxed in with a fence. It probably should be, but for insurance reasons. But <laughs> All right, let's put some steps here, guys. So, yeah, today is a very casual stream. Okay, what is going on here? It says what? Can't intersect. Oh, there's a wall here. Duh. <laughs> there's a freaking wall there. <laughs> oh, God. That would explain it. Okay, now we're going to do this. Actually, we're going to do... No, we're just going to do one step here. I'm going to give these kids a playground. There's, they're uber rich. There's four of them. Okay. Yep. 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 I see what I'm doing. So as you can see, he has 2.7 million. We get a super. Let's just move these trees over here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and delete these motherfuckers. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a good uh, Friday. Do, 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 do. Can I go all the way to the edge? I can go all the way to the edge. Yes. Yes, I can. Ooh. What's going on over here? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I can't I can't make this. So technically, I could go into lot, um, lot adjuster and give them extra space back here. Make their pool a little bigger. This looks like a sad, sad pool. Considering how uber rich he is, it's kind of sad looking. I feel like we should get rid of this part. 
right here and move, make the pool a little bigger or get rid of these freaking benches and make it a little bigger over here maybe i don't know it's weird okay anyway uh let's get back to the playground we're gonna give them everything yes the one's already made i've got asa flats downtown well mesa flats is um pet story and so is Upper Falls. Oh, Four Corners is your main hood. Okay, okay. That's fair. You're doing the constrained magic again. <laughs> I don't know about that. I also have to swap out the windows in this freaking house. As you can see, I already made lofts for her because she's like an artist. So I made a loft here with a little ladder. So this is what the house looks like. It's like uber modern, you know? So I gave them a basement because I didn't want to touch the aesthetic that was going on with this house. So I am going to swap out these windows. I'm probably going to change this with vertical siding. I can't stand these base game windows. Anyway, here's the guest house. I think what we're going to do with the guest house is that we're going to change the pitch on this roof because I absolutely can't stand high pitches. Especially for small buildings like this. So we're going to do a 15 degree pitch for that. Anyway, we're going to put Dave the bunny rabbit in there eventually. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So I had to, for those of you who don't know, I had to go back to an earlier save of my hood. Because my hood got super corrupted. And I had to go all the way back to October. Which sounds like a, a huge amount of stuff. But all I was missing was uh, like a couple dozen kids and some decoration. Like decorating. So it wasn't it wasn't as bad as it could have been worse anyway so what i did with the upstairs is these guys have like a high roof in this section they have like a high ceiling vaulted ceiling and over here we've got she's got like a place to do her paintings there we're going to do artist loft with those little marvin ladders and we're going to give them a, a door that's not see-through <laughs> that's kind of disturbing <laughs> anyway Let's get that. Oh, and here's the basement, of course. I had just made it this in October. So there's nothing down here. So we're going to have to do something about the floor. This is going to be the exercise room. This is the sewing laundry room. And it looks like he's stuck in there. It looks like one of the kids is stuck. Hold on. I, I didn't even have time to put doors down here. <laughs> anyway, let's just put the kids out here. Let's put everybody on the sidewalk, shall we? Just, it's something that I like to do. Oh, there's Vincent. So technically I could leave them all in the house, but where is everybody else? There's another kid. So we have Vinny. Vincent Jr. is just, we're just going to call him Vinny for the time being. And then we have Nancy and Kitty. Nancy's the eldest. There's Kitty. Just the second youngest. These are all story progression children, by the way. All of them. And the, all the names are story progression names, except for Vincent Jr. Uh, so some of the iconic families do get do have sons with um um what's it called namesakes. They have namesakes. Just so, just a couple of the families. Where's the other kid? Am I missing something? Are you in the garage? Are you down here? Are you in the sauna? I don't think kids can go in the sauna. I'm probably looking right at him. Are you in the guest house? If I go into live mode and find out where he is, I'm going to be really mad. Uh, there's Alan. There's Kitty. Oh, there's Nancy. She was in the corner. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, come over here. You're going to be out in the front. Okay, let's get back to this. We're just going to give them a playground. I'm probably going to quit after that. <laughs> I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I felt bad.
bad that because but yesterday they phoned me and said we have an opening for a console but it's a video console i'm like i'll take it <laughs> i will take it and they said it's three o'clock i'm like damn it <laughs> i'm supposed to be streaming that but i said yes of course because my health is more important all right let's toggle daytime mode go into here we're gonna give them some uh let's let's use the um is this the three to two? Yes, it's a three to two conversion by Lady Sim Player. Or I could go with this one by Honeywell. It's from the Sims 3 Seasons Pack. So I can go either with this set or with that set. They're both cute. And they both have their own like matching stuff. I believe this one is this one, this little, this little elephant. Isn't that cute? And they have monkey bars. This one is this one. This one is this one. I don't think this one has a swing set. Not sure. I think we'll go with the Honeywell one. Just. All right, so we've got this. We're gonna put a tree there. Put the monkey bars here. Maybe we could put this here. Give them some swings. the monkey bars this way you can actually put it on the diagonal and the, the kids will use it if you do that all right uh, i'm gonna move this a little closer maybe offset it a little bit put some swings over here okay hmm i think i'm gonna put them the other way this way Let's get some trees in here. Oh, that's too big. I don't want something super big. Hey, that's too big. <laughs> that's kind of scary. No. No. Eh. Actually, I'm going to put this one. Hold on. I'm going to put this one up here. That one there. There we go. Yeah, that looks okay. And I'm not going to bother fencing it in. Um... I don't like people coming into, you know what I'm going to do? In order to keep people from coming into their backyard without permission, I'm going to have to set up some kind of gate here and lock it. Get rid of this. So this became the pet house and Dave the rabbit was like right here and we had a bunch of pet beds. So what we're gonna actually know what we're gonna do, this is what I'd like to do when I redecorate. Every The walls and the floors get the same so I, I don't get overwhelmed. I'm just gonna do that for the time being. sure this bathroom like this but this was actually partially as you can see it was partially done this used to be one giant bathroom and I split it up into two so now this is an outdoor the outdoor shower bathroom which used to be connected to the master bath which never made sense to me so that that's done let's just finish this one off with the same wallpaper okay that's done at least uh, I'm pretty sure in the last save file I kept their bedroom furniture as is 
don't like to always change things out. I, this was definitely changed. We had like a huge, we, we kept the piano here. Obviously, we got rid of that though. Oop. And I think we got rid of the double door. And I think I got rid of this. Pretty sure I got rid of the table. And just made a ginormous kitchen. Because this is kind of a, a, considering how wealthy he is, he's, it's kind of small. For the time being, we're going to keep these counters. Oh. I don't think I'll have time to do the children's bedroom, like the downstairs area. I just really wanted to focus on, um, hmm. I wanted to focus on the playground. I did the playground. It's pretty much set. I decided I'm not going to put like really big fences here. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what I did with the house. I know it had modern windows, that's for sure. I gave them a proper door. All right, hold on. use the Honeywell doors. I think I used the one from the kitchen and bath collection. Let me just look. Hold on. My collection files need to be redone. Like so they're in a certain order and a lot of these. Yeah. Why do I have four Tiki folders? Because they're not Tiki folders. You see what's going on here? It says Tiki style. That's not Tiki style. That's actually from Seasons. So I don't know what's going on with my uh, collection files. They're all wonky. Anyway, I'm trying to look for kitchen and bath. It's usually at the front. And God knows where it is now because I have a lot of uh, um, custom ones that I've downloaded with. Okay, there's the pineapple forest lamps. That's huge lunatic. Hmm. Restaurant can be, I don't know what is going on. Does anybody else ever have issues with their, with their collection folders? Hi Spider, thanks for the lurk. I would just make the pets all strays. Don't do that. No, I can't stand strays walking around. Story progression puts strays in my game and I pissed off about it. I always get rid of the stray, like I, I use the, um, the stealth, like I shut off the stealth folder when I set up the lights. I don't want strays. I don't like garden club members. I don't like hobby maidens, um, NPC witches. I do allow witches in my game, though. I do allow witches in my game and vampires. I just don't want the NPCs walking around. Um, this this whole collection is so messed up right now. I'm kind of mad about it. Let's see if I can find them. For the time being, I think I'll just use the Honeywell. I'm thinking of using these doors. Is this is this from the kitchen of that? Well, red. No, it's from Glamour Life. So I think I'll use these for the doors. But I kind of wanted the um, the matching arches to go with it. You know? Just have to go through them. Oh, here it is. Okay. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> There we go. All right. 
right, that's done. We're not going to have a door here, though, or there. So we're going to use these doors. I'm probably going to not keep that color. So I'm pretty sure that there's windows that go with this collection. I don't think there's a lot of choices to them, though. There's this one. Yeah, that's from the Glamour. Oh, that's from Glamour Life. Okay. Yeah, I think the Glamour Life windows are very, but I think you can get add-ons for them. So I think what I did in this house is that I used in the new city, the new Gear City ones, maybe? I don't remember which ones I did. Because this is a modern house, so I probably would have used modern windows. Those are by Rainus. I downloaded the huge Rainus collection. Let me know when um, T Attic gets on and I'll get off. I've had a weird day today. I just wanted to come on and say hi. I feel bad when I have to cancel, but this time it wasn't because I wasn't feeling well. Now this is by, I believe Lord Crumps did all these? Yeah. These are Lord Crump conversions from, is this from the Rent? Uh, collection from uh, Sims 4. I wish I could go into my collection folder and look. <laughs> but God knows where it is. Good Lord, look at this. It's crazy. And a lot of them have repeat icons, even though that's not what's in the folder. So I'm going to have to reset all of the icons. I think you could do that in mod organize collections, modify collections. Yeah, I think you can actually choose the icon, the appropriate icon. So I don't know why they're all mixed and they're all unmatched. They're mix and match kind of thing. Something, something happened in my game. See, there's like three storybook things, but they're not all storybook. That's actually international from uh, Open for Business. And that's also Open for Business. That's the Atomic Collection. I know this is all Honeywell shit. Yeah. I'm never going to find it. But that's okay. I literally have to go through every single one. So I'm thinking maybe for the time being I should just use the Honeywell windows until I can get everything organized. I think that's what I'll do. Isn't there like just a plain window I could use in the kitchen? Okay, that's good enough. Oh, it would help if I actually, for the time being I'm just gonna take out these doors. I will use out outside uh, these doors to let in light. I'll figure something out later. Now Dave the buddy's going in here. So we're gonna, for some reason, hold on. I wasn't able to, oh, I can delete it now. There we go. I'm going to take that out, but I'm gonna leave this in here. I, ho I don't think Dave will mind. <laughs> try to re keep redoing the pattern in here. Let's see if I can try to copy this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah. What are we going to do there? <laughs> Honeywell. So I don't want like lots of windows in here because it's supposed to be for pets. So I think we're just going to use the cheap ass windows here for the time being. Think about the 
Honeywell windows is that there is an inside and an outside. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to do... One here. That's good. That's fine. That's enough windows. We don't need more than that. We used to have a dog bath over here, but I think I'm going to put it in the laundry room where I normally do. Let me get rid of that. I'll keep, I'll keep this here for the time being. Or maybe I could put it up against the wall. There we go. All right, so the bathrooms are set. And the lofts are there, so that's good. So it's just, it's a matter of redoing the kitchen. And redoing this there. This is like the grown-up living room. I think I'll stick a TV downstairs for the kids. I guess we could work on the kids. So whenever I set up a basement, I always use the Ikea paper lanterns temporarily. <laughs> so we can use other lighting. So I'm pretty sure this was, yeah, we already established this is the sewing room. So now we just got to get... That is going to be a downstairs bathroom. Actually, we're going to put the door in here. Yeah. All right, these are the kids' bedrooms. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong about this. No, I'm thinking of another house. I'm thinking of another house. I was going to say, I think there's a, there was a hallway here, but I don't think in this house there is. I just got rid of the paper lanterns and I put them back in, but it's temporary. All right, where's the, where's the doors? The door here, here, here. All right, so there's going to be, the boys are going to share one. So I usually use collection folders to decorate. So now I can't do that. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I wanted to use the surfer collection for the boys. You know? Like I literally have to go through. Okay, that's obviously fine. These are fine. That's the store edition stuff. Asian fusion. Oh, here's surfer. Okay. There's the medieval, there's fairies, like the fantasy, whatever. And these are the beds that I wanted to use. You could also use, uh, I have these for um, bunk beds. But I think I'm just gonna do this for the time being. They have a place to stay. I guess we could make them different colors, I don't know. I need to get new um, replacements. I don't, I'm just kind of sick of these replacements for the bedding. I like the ones I had before and I stupidly got rid of them. Here, that's actually pretty good. I like that. And I'm pretty sure, I know it's a very boring bedroom. Okay, we're gonna do that. We don't have room for two desks. So I think I'm going to use the clipboard. I will put a desk in here though. Probably two one tile desks. Should probably put, I'm going to put this here. Here's the surfer collection. Oh, 
Okay, we need more lights in here. Do we have like table lights? Like a CD collection there. A little boom box. Look at that. I know I'm not being very original. I don't care. <laughs> the ditto lights to be honest with you because I don't think that there's like um I don't think there's table lamps here so I'm going to put like little lights like Ikea lights these little things there you go boop and maybe There we go. Go back to the collection folder. All right, so that's just a regular old desk. I think I will put a computer there, but they're not gonna do their homework there, obviously. They can play video games there. Anyway, they have a bookcase. Right, you know what, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> now we're gonna do the girls. We're gonna use the same collection. We're gonna use the, uh, we're gonna be all girly. I know some of you are like, oh my God, she's assigning colors to gender. <laughs> I'm old, okay, I'm old. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, this is the princess bed. You can actually get the princess bed without the, the canopy. I actually downloaded it when I downloaded the bunk bed. So here's the bunk beds. So here's the original bed, right? This is the bed without the canopy, and it's supposed to be used for the bunk bed part. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to use that for just regular beds. Or I might use bunk beds. I don't know. Do that for the time being. You guys know that I usually use bunk beds. I'm going to use the Better Bath collection to do all that. Let's go back to this folder because I'm being super duper lazy right now. All right, what color are we going to do? We're going to do, one of them is going to be pink and the other one's going to be yellow. I've decided. rather have bedspreads that are just plain, you know? Green and yellow. There you go. Pink. All right, let's get some lamps in here. Now, I know that the girls' collection has lamps. I'm going to use a like a blue it's going to be this one's going to be blue i think this is actually for the gothic collection but that's fine we'll use it anyway um actually you know what fuck it we're going to use the ikea lamps over here <laughs> i don't care if it doesn't go just want a little bit of lighting in here don't the girls have any overhead lamps that kind of coordinate with with their stuff i don't think they do All right, we're going to put a desk in here. It's going to be blue. So we have different colors going on in this room, which is fine. Give them a white computer. And a pink boom box. What are we going to put over here? The dresser's kind of large. I don't know if it'll go in here. Like, I don't think that, yeah, I don't know if they can use it. I don't think they'll be able to use it. The door's right here. Yeah. 
I would have to put the desk yeah, I don't think it's going to... We're going to have to actually change the way this is set up. I think the beds are going to have to go this way. <laughs> Guys, let me know when... Um, Oh, that's not going to work either. We're going to have to put the dresser here. I think if I put the dresser here, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine now. They should be able to use it. All right, see, now it's it's a little bit better. They're not, like, right across from each other. There we go. Anyway, let's move this light over here. We'll put girly stuff on the desk later. So we're going to pretend this is me. This is going to be Nancy's bed. Um, we need, a, like, a floor lamp, you guys. I think that's pretty. Something that would go with this collection. Aw. Don't they just have plain silver? I guess that's silver. What other colors does this come in? It comes in white. I'm going to go with white. We've got pink, white, yellow. This is going to stay blue. It's good enough. It's good enough. They have a place. They have a place to sleep tonight. That's all that matters. We can work on it. We can retool it later when they become uh, teenagers. I think Nancy is going to be a teenager soon. No, that's not Nancy. Yeah, she's going to be a teenager in seven days. So we're going to be playing this family a full rotation on Monday. So she's going to be very shy of a birthday. We could have an early birthday for her because we it's very rare we get to have birthday parties in when we have a story progression neighborhood. I think it's only, I think I can count on one hand how many times that's happened. And I'm going to go ahead and put the quarter tile cheat on because I want to move this a little bit closer to his bed. I'm going to put this over here. Actually, wait a second, hold on. Put this over here. I put this right next to the chair, kind of centered between the chair and the wall. Good enough. All right, so now we're going to use the Better Bath collection if I can find it. <laughs> Is that it? No, that's the Surfer collection. You see what's going on there? That's the entire, that is like um, family fun stuff, like the main collection. And this is specifically the Surfer from that collection. And this is the medieval part of that collection. And this is the fantasy part of the collection. Now we have, um, I believe this is separate. Oh, I think this was from the EA store. Now this is from hotels. This is Bon Voyage. Pretty sure this is all the stuff from the hotels. And that is specifically just from okay this is actually bon voyage this is specifically hotels this is the far east collection and that's the tropical collection and what i do with the oh no that's mountain that's mountain far east yeah hotel where's tropical So there should be five files. There should be one just for the, all of the EP6 stuff. All the Bon Voyage stuff's in one thing. Then you have just the hotel part, which I'll probably delete. I'll just delete that right now. Fuck it. And then there's the Far East collection. That's the Mountain collection. So we're missing the Tropical collection, which might be... No, that's Weddings. That's tropical. That's 
tropical right there. So it had its own icon. You see all the tiki things? This isn't tiki though. That's H&M. This is actually from Seasons, so that's wrong. Uh, you guys, what happened to my collection? This is the EA store extra stuff that you got from the EA store. It was like a bonus collection that's like a car related theme, a car theme bedroom for kids. Okay, this is actually free time. Oh my God, this is the Tiki folder from, um, not from Blind Voyage. This is the Tiki folder from uh, free time. Okay, that's another one from Seasons. This is from Free Time. Uh, this is the Groovy Collection from University. Okay, this is actually correct. This one, Ultra Modern, that's actually correct. All right, these are actually all correct here. And then you get down to here at Storybrooke, and now we have, okay, that's free. That's actually open for business. That is open for business, a mission. That's open for business international. This is open for business storybook collection. The IKEA folder is right is correct. Then you've got kitchen and bath. This is kitchen stylish. This is actually apartment life, I think. Yeah, that's apartment life. <laughs> you see what's going on here? <laughs> I gotta clean up this fucking mess and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it. It's a fucking disaster. Like, I don't know where everything is. But icons aren't matched. You've got more storybook icons. That This is more open for business shit. The thing about open for business is that you have a, a community and residential folders for each thing. This is actually kitchen and bath. This is part of the, of the, um, the family fun stuff. Yeah. Second Empire. That's Moroccan. This is underwater. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> but it's not Second Empire. That is definitely not Second Empire. This is Atomic Kids Collection. So that's actually correct. This one's actually correct. Actually, this is pet pets. This is all the pet stuff. So this is the expansion pack four. And then this is specifically the Atomic Collection, including the children's atomic collection. Then you have just the atomic collection just for the children. And then you have just the pet stuff. Now the sun and moon laundry looks like, okay, that's that's actually correct. And this one is definitely not correct. Then we have, okay, but, uh, Buggy Boo's niche uh, folder is correct. Pottery Barn, Cynthia Bedroom, that's actually correct. Okay, so not everything is bad. We've got the Garden Center. We've got all the roof trims from Honeywell. The Shabby Set from Pineapple Forest. Dog Agility Items, both community lot versions and residential versions. you got the Pineapple Forest Modernist Lamps. But I'm actually missing her Vintage Lamps. Oh, Lord, what happened to my folder? Anyway. Hi, Serendipity. You're here for a second. Remember to take your break. You're at 15 minutes. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Nemerity's usually um, sticks around. She's my mod, but she can't really join me. But that's fine. That's fine. I just I just fucking around until um, um, Tiana gets on. What should be said? I like NPC, which is there, but I need uh, default replacements for these outfits. So basically, my um, vampires and witches just wear normal clothes, and they have normal skin. They don't, they don't look like vampires. Like my vampires get to keep their normal skin color, their normal eye color. They don't have red eyes or blue fangs or any of that shit, but they're still vampires. So anyway, I can't, I don't know where the, um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do, I, I'm a big girl. I can hand, I can do this myself. I don't need a freaking collection folder to do shit. I do, but <laughs> I'm going to do like a bathtub shower situation here. That it seems to be my favorite thing to do. So what I like to do, I do this. Go back to here. Go back to plummy.
I'm going to put the shower here. The bathtub here. And then what I do is, see if I had, hmm, if I had my collection folder, it would, t <laughs> it would have everything in one spot. Oh my God, I'm such a wuss. <laughs> So I like to take the extra long one so it goes across the shower and the bathtub, if that makes sense. And then over here, we're gonna do the sink. There's two sinks you can get with the uh, Better Bath Collection. I can also put other sinks in here too. I could put the, the Tidy Living sink. That's kind of cute. Um, it doesn't have to match, <laughs> is what I'm saying. But when I'm in a hurry, I like to just match everything just to get it up and running, if that makes sense. And then after that, I, I will mix things up a little bit. So initially, I will do that. I will use the collection folders and everything looks the same. Oh, what happened to, oh, hello. Now, I don't know if the mirror from the Better Bath Collection is in here. Where's, is, are these the hampers? I'm gonna put a hamper in here, you guys. Um, where's the mirror? I don't know if it's in the actual mirror section. Because, and then the reason I say that is because the original medicine cabinets are in decorative miscellaneous, which never made sense to me. And I know that there's mods you can get to recategorize that, but I don't like recategory mods. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's not in here. At least I don't think so. That's not it. It's pretty big and obvious. But just because something's big and obvious doesn't mean I'm going to find it. <laughs> So let's go to decor miscellaneous and see if it's in there. Because the other medicine cabinets are. So now here's the other, med this is these two medicine cabinets. So we can always use these. So I don't know where the, um, the one for the Honeywell collection is, honestly. I'll just use that one. So I actually turned off reflections to avoid pink soup. And now I'm going to go to wallpaper. Let me see. Um, where's the, I know this is Honeywell right here. Let's do purple. Let's do a purple bathroom. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, can I make this can I make this uh coordinate? I could do purple, right? No, there's no purple. Because the honeymoon wallpapers are supposed to coordinate with the um better bath collection. I mean this is purple. I think I'll just keep it white, fuck it. Anyway. a pattern. That's cute. Oh, that's cute with the purple. Okay, now let's get some lights in here. I always use the ditto lights in bathroom. That's my go to now. I do make exceptions if I use the like the kitchen and bath collection, I'll use the lamps that come with that one. But the ditto lights are kind of hard to beat. So they come in two different heights. I usually like to put another one over here. Now we just have to give them a proper floor because that floor is kind of ugly. I just arbitrarily chose it.
Yeah, that's actually linoleum that I put down. That's good enough. I know it's very purpley, but. <laughs> All right. I feel like there should be like shag carpeting. <laughs> Orange shag carpeting in here. I don't know why, but this this house gives me a Brady Bunch 1970s vibe. So <laughs> Orange shag it is. I know it's hard to tell because it's dark. Is that that's shag? Fool's gold carpet. Savannah Sienna stained cobbler. Luxurious sand. No, I want like a proper orange shag in the 70s. I don't know if there is any. Pink bath rug. Orange shag. Okay, that's actually called orange shag. Let's see how if it if it meets my standard. Because we had orange shag in several of our houses. <laughs> nightmare <laughs> I am going to use this linoleum that's in the bathroom for the um, the laundry room there we go uh, I feel like there should also it should be the linoleum in here actually because it's a steam room I think you're supposed to use actual stone in a steam room so we're gonna use actual stone this linoleum would just curl right up <laughs> what do you think about it um yeah, we'll do that. And this little guest room is going to have pink. <laughs> it's going to be pink. <laughs> I haven't done a pink bedroom uh, bathroom in so long. A lot of the guest bathrooms back in the day were pink. I don't know why, but I think that the the uh, the wives of of the of uh, insisted on it. I don't know why. I don't know if I like this tile though. I might use a different tile. Something a little lighter, maybe. I am going to put um, a medicine cabinet in this bathroom, though. All right, yeah, let's pick something else. Let's pick a different tile that's not so obnoxious. Not that one. Let's get a linoleum. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I kind of, I was kind of thinking, okay, we could do that one. We could do that one. Yeah, that's good. There we go. How's that for a pink guest bathroom? <laughs> oh, God, you guys. So we are definitely playing this. I'm going to actually finish this house, by the way, this weekend. I'm going to get it back to the way it was uh, before my game crashed and got all corrupted and stuff like that. Um, that's what I'm doing this weekend. From Aside from other things. Uh, is this... Is this not gonna, hold on, what is going on here? Oh, okay, hold on. So that goes there. Toilet paper roll goes here. Oh, okay, right under here, right, right. I'm gonna put like just one light here. I think I'm gonna get off soon, I'm kinda hungry. I feel like spaghetti tonight. Yeah, I think I'll have spaghetti. I'm going to put one light here in the sauna. Because saunas don't have to be dark. As a matter of fact, you're really not supposed to make them dark. Because, you know, you don't want to see everything in there. <laughs> you're supposed to strip off your clothes. So you don't want, like, detailed... <laughs> Lots of details popping up in there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're going to use brick walls. We're using brick walls because it's a sauna. I feel like there should be brick in there. Or it should be poured concrete. One of the Okay, you know what? That's actually pretty good. I like that. All right. The exercise room. I usually I usually make it so that it pretty much um, looks like the... Um, hmm, hold on. What is going on here? Can I not get like a, like a regular door? 
for this? Or would I have to just, oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Hold on. I kind of like having crazy wallpaper in, in, um, in exercise rooms. You know, like from the groovy collection that came with university, like this shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get to use that stuff very often, so I might as well put it in an exercise room, right? Anyway, this is actually from the Sims 4 to 2 uh, Moschino collection. That's actually kind of fun. I want something playful in there. Okay, that's playful. I might just give them like a regular flooring instead of this stupid rubber flooring. I kind of get tired of using that. But it should be, see, the reason why people do use this floor is because if you fall or your dumbbells fall, it doesn't, it doesn't going to hurt the floor. That's why people use it. So, um, And I think it's the only one. Or is there gray? There's actually a gray version. And a Ross version. We'll use gray. So what I'm going to do is to get rid of that fugly door. There. How's that for compromise? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep... Uh, let's just not keep this. I know it's fun, but yeah, we'll, be, we'll use it for another room. We're just going to be plain. And I said plain today. Something neutral. Okay, that's a little too much. That's too fancy. We'll just go with poured concrete, you know? Yeah, that's good enough. So we have the gray uh, rubber mats in here, beige walls. Do that. We've got our pink guest bathroom. And actually, we could have a normal floor in here. We'll put the stone in here. All right, now we could put some shit in here. Uh, first of all, let's get some lights in here, first of all. I'm going to put the ditto lights in for the time being. So I can see what I'm fucking doing. And maybe one over here. And maybe one in here at the end of this hallway. Suppose we could make this room the same, and I kind of like the brick. Oh, thank you for the hydrate and the save. Oh, and I didn't, I haven't taken my, um, I haven't taken my break. I'm probably going to be getting off soon. As a matter of fact, it's almost five o'clock. Let's just wait until, um, uh, Tiana gets on. I am going to take a quick break though, you guys. I'll be right back. I need to pee. <laughs> and I don't know when she's getting on tonight. So I do not watch these ads. I'll be right back.
Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm late. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's put some exercise equipment in here. enough room because you know how they fall actually I'm gonna put this one over here because they sometimes fall they kind of need some wiggle room over here uh like a bike there maybe one of these there we go how's that for an exercise room there's not a lot of room here for a dance bar I suppose we could squeeze one in here You know what? I'm not gonna bother putting in a mirror. I usually put a mirror there, but fuck it. We are not. There we go. Good enough. I probably have a little stereo down here to exercise to. light over here I feel on this wall for the stereo mostly there we go and we're just gonna do the laundry room okay so the, so this is actually part of a collection I got from TSR it has like this um, it has a few things that come with it and that yes it has a collection folder that's disappeared <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my game weird shit's going on with it uh, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway. Hello. So that goes with it. It's like it's supposed to be like a sewing thing. And I don't know where the sewing basket is. There's a sewing basket and a mannequin that also goes with this collection. And I, God only knows where it is. Now we're going to put the washer and dryer over here. We've got all these other sets. I got Rumbly Tumbly Washing Machine by Standard Issue. Like these are the colors that they used to come in. These are the exact colors. We have avocado, uh, um, avocado green. And we have that Sunset Sienna, I think it used to be called, or Harvest Gold, I forget. And there's the blue one. That wasn't as popular. The green and yellow was really popular in the 60s. I'm very tempted to use one of these. But he's so uber rich, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, these are fancy, fancy schmancy. Bayside dryer. Okay, maybe we could use one of these. Oh, I like these. So wait, that's the dryer. 
Which one's the which which one's the wash? Oh, Bayside washer. There you go. Okay, okay. We're gonna try a slightly different thing here. Now, because this is a sewing room, it's gonna be extremely well lit, as you can imagine. Do you mean the knitting? <coughs> like the little basket that has the sewing supplies. There's a little basket that has sewing supplies that goes with this uh, Sars I think it's Sarsarella sewing set from T TSR. It's like, you know, you know the sewing baskets that you get that have like, they fold out. Yeah. I need to get my Sims to go back to, um, to knitting again. I loved it when they were knitting stuff. Anyway, I feel like this, this particular room should definitely have a fan. Oops. <laughs> yeah, there should definitely be a fan in here. I don't think we're going to get along to or get around to do anything with this area, but it's going to have like a billiards table and mahjong or whatever. So this is more or less going to stay the same. I might get rid of the purple. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> I might go with like a softer purple, like a lavender or something. Anyway, um, yeah, it's looking okay. We just need to put some some paint in here. I'm probably going to use um, poured concrete. Seems to be my favorite thing to use. But I'm gonna keep it light and uh, light in here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna keep it light in here because it is a sewing room, and you need lots of light in a sewing room. There's also like um, a board that goes with this, like a, a pinup board with like designs and stuff on. I don't know what the fuck everything is. I don't even. I've never actually had a, a problem with the um, with this before. I've never had an issue with the collection folders before. So something weird is going on with my game. I am using the OSAP version, but I've never had a problem with it. So I don't know if that's it. Or it's like a mod, or I don't know if a mod, why a mod would do something like that. I don't think that, that sewing board, it's gonna be in this section, like in the expensive part of this, because it's this is done by, by the actual value. Is this it? Party banner? No, that's not it. It's pretty, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big board. It's not that one. That's from the kitchen and bath collection. Yeah, I don't know where. It could be under miscellaneous. This is why I, I depend so much on collection folders, you guys. Because of this type of shit. There's a the little ring box <laughs> you can keep on your stand, your little nightstand. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck it is. Anyway, we'll get it. We'll get. We'll figure it out this weekend. So the, for the time being, we're going to use these lights for this area. Put the same lights over here. They're pretty bright. They usually do a good job. And maybe something in the middle. Oh, that's not even on the wall. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> there we go. And that's not on the wall either. I'm really missing the mark. <laughs> the stupid virtual doctor appointment got me all riled up. I always get nervous when I have to break in a new doctor, so to speak. And then I feel like, you know what, we're going to, we're going to get one of these fans in here too. Put it right about there. And then we're going to use those fake lights. We don't want soft, we want harsh. There we go. See, that looks pretty good. The, the walls are kind of plain. I might do something about that, put something a little more colorful. But for the time being, that's fine. Like I said, when I set things up initially, I feel like I feel rushed. And I have a hard time making decisions when I'm feeling rushed. I, I want like a 70s kind of like vibe going on in this in this basement. Can we get like a 70 wallpaper kind of thing? That's 70s. <laughs> Wait a second, hold up. 
We could do we could do something for the free time collection if I had the collection folder. <laughs> That's a little too obnoxious for a basement, you know. I wanted to go with the the orange shag carpeting. Ooh, paneling's always a good choice. Let's go with that. <laughs> spiral staircase too look at that we're gonna have to do something about these doors oh first of all we need to put some i'm gonna just put up some temporary lights but i'm not gonna use the paper lanterns i'm gonna put something use something else uh something on the wall it's not gonna be the ditto lights though i think i might use the vintage lights or the modernist lights by uh, Pineapple Forest. I'll just use this one. Oh. 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 Um. Oh. Maybe put one over here. I gotta take the move object uh, cheat off. It's kind of fucking me up here. Yeah, so we're gonna have a billiards table. We'll have more lights over there. We might have some drop down lights for the poker table. That's always that's always nice to do that. All right, I'm gonna have to actually do that on this wall. That looks good. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to keep these all these wall lights up. Like some of them will be uh, pen pendulum lamps, but I really love that orange shark carpet. <laughs> it's really taking me back. They were a bitch to uh, vacuum though. I'll tell you that. Oops. Okay, that's too dark. I don't think I'm going to be able to match this wood exactly, but it doesn't have to match. Because it's kind of an odd color. Ooh, okay, that kind of coordinates though. What's this called? What is she calling this one? I don't see the, I don't see the actual color number on there. She usually has the color numbers. Interior template model. Kind of looks like marble. It's kind of hard to tell though. I just want something that coordinates with it. So in fact, I don't want it to match, if that makes sense. These look like exterior paint colors. Okay, so there's this. That's a little too orangey. Okay, that kind of goes with the wallpaper. There's green. Oh, maybe we could get blue. Because there's blue in the wallpaper. Ooh, that's different. Blue and orange. I kind of like that, you guys. What do you think of that? Did you have your break? Yes, I did. <laughs> I just got back. I have the 42 knitting in the yarn basket is where, uh, e oh, easels, okay. So if the, the 42 knitting is in, yeah, that makes that actually makes sense. I kind of like the blue. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Because there's blue in the wallpaper and blue and orange are complementary colors. So that is really different right there. That is different. I like it. And I might actually coordinate these lamps to go kind of with it because you get different colors here. Oh, <gasps> that's nice because it's got a little blue in there in the middle. And that's definitely blue. I don't know how I feel, but that's too much blue, I think. I might actually use the vintage lamps with the Tiffany glass.
Because I'm a sucker for Tiffany. Yeah, I kind of like that. Anyway, we're, we're going to, I'll fix this this weekend. This is going to be all full of stuff. And I might decorate the kids' room a little more. Uh, actually, this is, they're not very well lit in here, these bedrooms. So i got to do something about that. <clears throat> all right, so far so good. They have a playground. I didn't do anything to the pool. We still don't have Dave the rabbit, but I'll bring him back. I'll probably get rid of this wallpaper. It's kind of stupid. Um, we have to redo the parents' bedroom, but not really. I'm not, I'm going to keep this wallpaper for poops and giggles and just give them a new bedspread and a new carpeting. I'm kind of going to keep it retro like that. I like the vibe. Plus, I have to pop. I have to find those windows that I used last time and the door too. We're missing doors. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, God. Uh, I'm just going to use these doors for the time being, even though it doesn't really go with this modern kind of house. And I think I'm going to put modern garage doors on there. You know? These this is these are carriage house doors. That's very old-fashioned. Anyway, we're, 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 going, we're going in the right direction. I don't remember what their uh, basement used to look like. So yeah, but that looks good. Very 70s. I like the vibe. We need to redo this room for sure. So that that's fine. This is just going to have carpeting. Uh, we need to redo the kitchen, but I'm going to keep the cabinets that color. We need to put new carpeting here. I think we actually used a specific collection for this room. I just don't remember which one it is. I think it was the Asian Fusion collection from this EA store. Anyway. I think I'm going to quit. Is Tea Addict on right now? Because we can actually, um, if she's not, I'm just going to quit. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. It just wasn't a regular thing, but I did have that appointment, and I wasn't going to get on at all. And I decided, yeah, I'll get on for an hour or two. Okay, we got Twitch. Okay, so Monday, we are going to have new coupons on Monday. So I had to wait a week to reset it to Monday because I stupidly got a coupon on Tuesday last week. And so I, that's why I skipped it. Little Simpsy. T oh, Tea Addict is on. Okay. She's on. You know what? Um... I don't know if I'm going to bother rating her. Yeah. I think I'll just quit. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just quit. I just don't, I just don't want to have to sit, sit around and chat with her. And so she's super nice. I'm going to watch her in the background. So you guys can go ahead and go watch her. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end the stream. Anyway, I'll see you guys Monday. Hopefully I'll be, be able to redecorate the house this weekend and find out what's going on with the collection files if you guys can find out uh about collection file problems or issues or corruption and if you find an article about it or a message thread please let me know put it in the discord anyway i'll see you guys later bye